Hey everybody, this is Aaron Whitehead. Welcome to Learn to Play the Piano. This is lesson number 21 in a series of short lessons. In this video, we'll focus on seventh chords. In our previous lesson about chords, we talked about using different scale degrees to create chords. And we talked about how using the one, three, and five of a major scale would give you a major chord. So for example, in the key of C, that would be C, E, and G. And for a seventh chord, we simply add the seventh scale degree to the chord. So in this case, that would be B. So using the scale degrees 1, 3, 5, and 7, we would create a seventh chord. Now this particular type of seventh chord, where you use notes that occur naturally in the scale, is called a major seventh chord. So this chord would be called C major 7, or a common abbreviation is C uppercase M 7. Major seventh chords have a very pleasing sound and are very common in jazz. When playing this chord in your right hand, I would suggest the fingering one, two, three, five. And in your left hand, I would use five, three, two, one. Another common type of seventh chord is the dominant seventh chord, which does not use the natural seventh scale degree. Instead, you flat the seventh scale degree. So in this case, instead of using B natural, we would use B flat. So the notes of the chord would be C, E, G, B flat, and would give us C7. Dominant seven chords are very common, and so their abbreviated symbol is just simply the chord name and the number seven. C7 sounds like this. To play C7 with your right hand, you could use the fingers one, two, three, five. And with the left hand, you could use five, three, two, one. Now you may have noticed that both of these seventh chords are built off of major chords. You can also build a seventh chord off of a minor chord. So to make C minor seven, we would simply lower the third scale degree from E to E flat to make a C minor chord. So this chord is called C minor seven, or abbreviated C lowercase m seven. The C minor seven chord sounds like this. And you can also have a minor chord with a major seven. You call that a minor major seventh chord. So for this, we would have a C minor chord on the bottom with a major seven on top, so we would use the B natural instead of the flat. So the chord C minor major seven is made up of the notes C, E flat, G, B natural. And the abbreviated chord symbol for this is C, lowercase m for minor, uppercase m for major, and then the number seven. C minor major seven sounds like this. Now this understanding of sevenths could be applied to any scale to make any chord, major or minor, into a seventh chord. And we hope you enjoyed lesson number 21. And if you did, please check out our website to purchase our book or any one of our video lessons. You also might find our interactive apps helpful, which are available on iTunes or Google Play. And please join us next time where we'll learn about the blues. Thanks, God bless, and see you next time.